Welcome back to my channel. This is the 8th vlog in the series of the build of the model and scale train track. If you want to follow me in the whole process of building this table, please consider to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified for further videos. So now that we have laid a part of the track, we're gonna lay the track on this incline. The problem is that, according to my schematic, the power section ends in the middle of this race, so in this incline. And the section number six is just beside the corner, so we need to make sure that it works. So looking at the incline, let me remove this, we see that this height is a little bit higher than the bottom so we need to go even that out uh, the other section is the same we need to have this filled up and even out we can do that with pieces of cork when ready but I can also shave it a little bit more off because now it's a little bit under tension here and this is not really flat so what I did because the curve just after the curve there will be a switch for the return track on the upper deck so the switch needs to be positioned here and then we have the curve inside curve we have an outside curve and looking at that section this section for the outside curve is all the way up to that other corner so we have a big section power number five and a section number four so what i did is i screwed them together so that i can lay the back track already up to this end here so this end where the switch is so this is the switch for the return of the upper deck and this section power section will end so here are the sections put together and the power section will end here. So that's the first thing what we're going to do. We're going to measure this uh, track. So it will be approximately there. So I'm going to add it to that section and then later on I will attach it to, to this side over here. And it's a straight track. So we put back this track, or actually the track pad, and with the uh, power section coming from that side, so power section number five until here, so that's the middle. I made a mark over here, put the tracks, align them, and I cut a piece of track, put the uh, isolation points at this point, which will be here, and then I put the uh, connectors over here, line them up so that it will fit, make sure that this is all aligned. And now we can uh, start screwing the uh, track pad, uh, track to the bed. It's a little bit difficult here to see. I see a hole in this area. Okay, so next will be this one. So I already did a sort of a curve. And if you're looking at the uh, track layout, 
the uh, power section ends actually right here which yeah, is a little bit a shame yeah, I would like to have it positioned over here which helps me a little bit more to get this track better aligned to this track so and then from that track off we're gonna lay the track down here until this switch uh, which is a powered section as well so this section here will be a short powered section because I can't put the uh, section here in the curve because this would be too short it needs to be, be at least one meter and this is zero centimeters until the switch so it starts zero point here then 10 20 etc until the switch that it's one meter so it's either just over here which I might be able to do or it's at this section here so let me measure how long it is until the switch So that's 80 centimeters until the switch. Let's try to make that curve here. Isolators
Thank you for watching this video and if you liked it hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified for further videos. And I will see you in the next video.